Hi folks, so today's video is day number four using the Wet n Wild Comfort Zone palette and today I wanted to do a look focused on this sort of blue-brown shade in the palette. Pretty much the best shade in the palette, let's not lie here. And one of the reasons why I suggest this to basically anybody if you want this shade. Um, today I used just that color, one eyeshadow to create this look. I'm using this sucker right here. And I love doing this. This is one of my favorite things ever is to just take one eyeshadow and do a look with it. That's just it. Pretty much going to be using one brush to apply it all over the lid and then just using a fluffier brush just to blend that out. These sort of blue-brown pigment colors are the best for this, but try it really with any sort of duochrome eyeshadows um, because it's awesome. So basically I'm just going to take my little paddle brush with that shade. I'm going to pack this all over the lid. Now I am going to just kind of put that there first and it's just mostly going to show as that brown color because I'm actually gonna go back in with this color and apply it wet after, but I'm basically just going to put that there for now, dip into my little fluffy brush, and then just blend that color out and up towards the brow bone. And then when you blend it out, it just smokes it out into that red tone. I'm just gonna mix a little bit of Fix Plus just onto the eyeshadow. Um, it handles being used wet really well, so that's always a bonus. And then that's when I'm just going to take the shadow that's wet and then just apply that all over the lid. And that's really going to bring out that duochrome with the blue. I'm also going to take that while it's wet and apply it right underneath my bottom eyelashes. And then I'm going to take that fluffy brush with a little bit more shadow on it and then I'm really going to use this. So I'm just going to kind of squint my eyes and this is going to be different on everybody depending on their eye. But I kind of have a natural sort of crease right there. I like taking the shadow right down to that, basically, and that's always how I know that that's been taken down like really far um, when I take it down to that point. So I'm generally just going to take that brush and just blend it everywhere and really just blend it out. Obviously you can keep this more controlled if you want. You can keep it obviously not bringing it right down like that if you don't want to either. I just like that look, so that's what I'm deciding to do today, but that's obviously a personal preference thing. You don't have to take it down that much. All right, from there, I'm just going to apply a coat of mascara. I'm actually going to clean this up just a little bit, though, before I do that, just because I did take it a little bit too far just to make it match the other side. I'm just going to take my mascara, apply a coat on the bottom and top, and then I'm going to, off camera, apply a set of lashes. These are the Sephora Flirt number 30s. Alright, so then with lashes on, that is the finished eye look. I think that this look really lends itself well to false eyelashes, uh, just because you're smoking so much out that um, without the lashes it just does kind of look messy. I think it just plays well with the balance. So my face, I just have on the basics. I have NYX Taupe Blush as my contour, a little bit of Milani's uh, Luminoso as my blush, and then I did want to play with a little bit of like the fake um, freckles trend. And the product that I actually used from this is kind of brilliant, and uh, I'm not saying I'm going to use it just for this all the time but this is a little suggestion for you um, I got this little trial size of the benefit gimme brow and basically it's like a very light uh, brown like gel pomade and I'm almost out of this like I it's pretty much empty and so what I did was I mixed in a little bit of this Inglot Duraline this sort of like rehydrate product because uh, I figured I might be able to get a couple more uses out of it and what I actually realized is that if I just sort of take what very little is left in there and dot it on the face and just use my finger to sort of blend it in. And some of the globs are bigger than others, they're not all like uniform, which is one of the reasons why I don't really like doing fake freckles because I find they all look very uniform. Uh, but this sort of makes it so that it doesn't look like that, which is awesome. And uh, yeah, it's just a way to use up the very last bit of product. So if you have this kicking around and it's mostly dried up, try always like putting a little bit of like either Duraline or maybe some Fix Plus, mixing it up and doing it for something like this. It's a good way to use what little is left in the product. So one thing that I do like if you're doing it on yourself, obviously, is you can kind of do one of these. <laughs> Come on, it's my set, it's my own face. And you can kind of just use it and um, blend it into the skin so that it looks like it's almost under the skin as opposed to sitting on top. So you're getting more of like a natural freckle look. 
Um, I'm leaving some of them darker than the others, blending some almost right into nothing. That way it gives it some sort of like dynamicness to it. And then lips for this look, I literally have no idea what I want to do. Um, I almost want to leave it just like this, but then I, that's not me. I need to put a lip on, but I don't know. I, I don't know. I have this little like tester size thing from Impulse Cosmetics. They have their duochrome stuff. And this is basically a blue-brown pigment duochrome, so I might just make the whole face match. I'm gonna try this out and see what it looks like. But then with the lip applied, this is the final look, and I actually quite like it. I think it's kind of fun to just sort of pair duochrome shit all together. Uh, yeah, so I wanted to bring you guys something a little bit different, maybe a little bit out of the box when you first look at this palette. But I mean, for five bucks, if you buy it just for that shade, it's worth it, really, in my opinion. Um, especially when you're able to just sort of blend it out in like one go and then there you go that's your look uh but yeah that wraps up day four using this palette i do hope you guys are enjoying the week and as always leave any comments down below i'll be happy to read them and respond and until my next video i will talk to all of you soon bye